What's up guys? Today we have uh, a customer who has brought us a Miata valve cover that they attempted to paint this metallic purple color, which you can see it obviously came out more of like a pink color. And uh, they want us to dip this in a galaxy pattern. And uh, we're going to polish the letters as well after we're done. Um, thankfully, um, the customer's already pretty much cleaned out the whole inside of this valve cover. It kind of sucks though, because we do have to remove these, uh, these, uh, what do they call them, like galley plates or baffle plates or something like that. We do need to remove these so we don't get any water trapped in there during the process because we don't want water to stay in there and rust because this is going to be going on, you know, top of somebody's valve train for their engine. So, uh, we're going to get to stripping this, uh, getting all this paint off, um, and getting it prepped and taking off the galley plates and then we'll get it base coated and we're going to lay down this film and this thing is going to come out sick. All right, we are currently in the process of stripping the paint. As you can see, the uh, stripper is already doing its work. I said the, stri <laughs> yeah, I said the stripper is doing work. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to let this sit for a little longer, then I'm going to get all this paint off and then we're going to re-scuff this thing and then prime it so it'll be ready for the dip. Now about 99% of the paint has been taken off by vigorous work of us using Scotch-Brite metal brushes and a stripper. Now we have a super secret solution here that we're gonna soak this thing in for about 15 to 20 minutes and uh, hopefully it'll be ready for a base coat with a little more, uh, possibly a little more scuffing after that. But um, we're gonna see how it turns out after it goes in our super secret mix. All right, so now after repetitive soaking and rinsing, you see Brandon is getting all of the little fine itty bits of that purple paint that is stuck in all the nook and crannies, like that. And once we get all the little itty bitty bits out, then we'll be able to dry this thing and base coat it and get it ready for the galaxy dip. But this is the most tedious part of this. And it's one of those things that goes to show when people, you know, make remarks about prep work and things like that. This is the kind of stuff, I mean, we've already coated this in aircraft remover several times and you still have to get the little itty bitty spots, nooks, crannies, get every little bit of debris and paint off of whatever you're doing. So, like I said, just goes to show that it's such a super fun process. Now the paint is pretty much completely off, minus bolt threads, which we're gonna take care of that with a, uh, with a bolt. But we have it out here drying off right now, then we do one more rinse then we do an alcohol cleaning and then we'll get all the extra little bits of uh, any dust or debris off of it and then we'll be ready to dip it well base coat it i should say but uh that's where we are right now drying off and getting ready to be sprayed now we have a nice base coat laid down we're using ohw's uh white base coat primer uh specifically for hydro dipping and uh, we're going to let this base coat dry for, um, usually you'll want to let it dry a few hours. I'm going to let this dry about a day because the weather is terrible right now. That's why I'm doing this inside. And then uh, we'll get on to dipping this in the Galaxy film. And uh, after this dries some more, I'll be able to tell as well if I need to lay any more uh, base coat on it. Which I do see some spots I might need to hit. But I'm going to let this thing dry before I do any of that. There's air bubbles. That's fine. Okay. So it came in like this. Yep. I'm going to put a little more activator on it again. Nice. 
So you can see here in the sensor, the film didn't stretch. I didn't think it would because high ink pattern films tend to uh, not stretch very well. And there's a uh, one or two overactivated spots which are going to be fixed. But right now I'm going to tape off the center valley here and we're going to paint that uh, gloss black and it's going to look really good and pop. We're actually doing dark purple, not black. Uh, the customer requested that, and I think also, actually, that would look better dark purple. This is the first coat laid down. I gotta lay down a couple more coats, but uh, that's really gonna pop with the rest of the purples and the pinks of the galaxy. The dark purple center is drying right now, and once that's done, uh, we're gonna polish these letters here, and then we'll be able to clear this thing and really see how it comes out. But that dark purple does look better than the black. I'm kind of glad that she said to do the dark purple because in my opinion it does pop way better. Now I have to get some tack cloth and probably shoot some compressed air at it because I got dust everywhere from sanding these letters off but uh, got them polished up and uh, we're ready. Clear is laid down, letters look great, everything looks great. I just gotta let it dry now. And then uh, we'll definitely have to get some pictures of it put on the car. This stuff did pop in the purplest manner with the clear coat. That's pretty awesome. Now I just need to take some 2000 grit to kind of smooth out a little bit of the clear, but it is now ready to rock. It's a Galaxy, plum purple center, and uh, polished letters. And uh, turned out pretty awesome. Couldn't be happier.